I'm now going to talk about Marietto Robusti, or also known as Marietto Tintoretto, or La Tintoretta. Uh, La and the A at the end, of course, uh, make the word feminine in Italian. As you can see, uh, she lived in the latter part of the 16th century and only lived to be perhaps 30 years old. Uh, she died in childbirth, and uh, she was a Venetian artist. Her father was the very famous Venetian artist Jacopo Robusti, who is known to us as Jacopo Tintoretto. Uh, the nickname Tintoretto means little dyer. His father dyed cloth for a living, and it became uh, applied as a family name uh, to Jacopo and his children. Jacopo had both a daughter, Marietta, and sons, Domenico and Marco, who were trained as artists and worked in their father's studio. Uh, so you see a huge number of paintings uh, by Tintoretto, uh, some of which may have been painted by uh, his workshop. In other words, some of them may have been painted by Marietto, some may have been painted by Domenichino. Um, it would be very difficult to sort that out. Uh, one of the things that we're told uh, in the literary sources is that uh, Jacopo Tintoretto just loved his daughter. He wanted her with her at uh, all times. He wanted her to be able to accompany him when he went out uh, on the town. And so he had her wearing boys' clothes so she could uh, accompany him. Uh, now, that's going to be something interesting in a few minutes we're going to talk about. Now, I wanted to talk to you just about this picture that you're seeing here. Uh, a woman at the Virginals, which is very frequently considered to be a self-portrait by Marietta Robusti, Marietta Tintoretto. As you can see, it shows the woman portrayed as an accomplished musician, something we've seen before, that this is a womanly accomplishment. Uh, and we also see her with this keyboard, so it would be the Virginals or a spinet. And we talked about this with Sofonis Baguisola and with uh, Lavinia Fontana, how uh, showing a woman uh, next to uh, the keyboard instrument, next to the virginals, uh, is an association with female chastity. Now, the other question that I want to raise is attribution. When we say we attribute a painting to an artist, is we don't have proof that the painting's by a certain artist, uh, but because of style or other reasons, uh, someone says, this work of art is by so-and-so. So the question is, is this portrait really by Marietta? Or is it just um, a painting by an anonymous Venetian, someone we don't know who painted it, and uh, they've looked at this and they said, well, you know, it's a woman and, uh, it's a sort of mediocre quality. It's, it's not too bad. It's not too great. Uh, so maybe it's by a woman. Uh, so maybe it's by Marietta. Uh, this is another portrait uh, that has been considered to be by Marietta and has sometimes been considered to be a self-portrait. I believe, probably, because uh, people think it looks like the woman that we saw previously. Uh, but if you look closely, one difference you can see uh, is that uh, the hairstyle is a little bit different. Uh, this woman's wearing braids around her head, and she does not have the cleft chin that uh, we see with the uh, woman with a spinet. Um, so maybe it is the same woman and maybe it's not. Uh, this woman is very richly dressed. She has a long pearl necklace. She seems to have jewels. Uh, perhaps that's a bit more uh, jewels than a, a, a painter, who is essentially a middle-class person, would be wearing. Uh, and she's wearing rich velvet, and of course she's uh, associated with this very uh, luxurious uh, carpet that they would often wear, have over the tables, not on the floor, because these are just you know, too luxurious to walk on. Um, so this you know, frontal image of a woman, is it Marietto Tintoretto? Or is it a portrait of another woman by Marietto Tintoretto? The, the same questions apply. You know, do we have any evidence? Now, one of the things we know about Marietta was that she had opportunities that her father did not allow her to take advantage of. Uh, as we said, her father wanted her to stay with him. He didn't want to part with her. So when the emperor, Maximilian II, 
Or the king of Spain, Philip II, uh, invited Marietta to become a court painter at their courts. Uh, Jacopo refused. Now, remember that a woman was legally um, required to be controlled by first her father and then her husband. Um, women really didn't have a lot of self-determination. Uh, there's no way that Marietta could say, no, I am going to go to court and be a court painter if her father said no. Uh, he has the legal right to choose for her. Uh, what he did instead was an arrange an ameri what he did instead was arrange a marriage uh, to a Venetian jeweler. And um, her husband agreed that he and his new wife, uh, Marietta, would live with Jacopo, with their father, in the household uh, so that you know, he could still have the advantages of her company and uh, presumably of her skills that she could continue to work in the workshop. Um, however, um, her life was not that long. Uh, she died in 1590. Uh, presumably in childbirth, which of course was uh, a great danger for women. Now here is one picture that seems to be uh, more firmly attributed uh, to uh, La Tintoretto, to, to, to Marietto Robusti. Uh, it's an old man and a boy, uh, possibly his grandson, uh, and is a portrait. And this painting was attributed to Tintoretto, in other words, to her father, until they cleaned it. And they found Marietta's monogram with her initial M on it. So presumably this is a painting that she painted uh, you know, on her own and signed. Uh, we don't have a date. Uh, we don't uh, you know, really have any evidence about it. But it is interesting because, uh, like some of the works we've talked about before, uh, the uh, uh, works that have been attributed to David, or uh, works that had been attributed um, to uh, Franz Halls and were found to be by women artists. Uh, this is the same thing. Now they have evidence that this painting is actually by Marietta. In October of 2009, uh, there was an article by Duncan Bull in the Burlington Magazine. And the Burlington Magazine is a very prominent uh, um, art history journal uh, that uh, comes out of England. Uh, it's supposed to be the, I believe it's supposed to be the oldest, uh, uh, the original art history scholarly publication. Um, but at any rate, Duncan Bell uh, rejected uh, the attribution of the woman at the Virginals to Marietto. And he you know, just basically thought it was by an anonymous, uh, mediocre Venetian artist. And uh, then he uh, he uh, illustrated a painting that he thought was by Marietta. And you're seeing that reproduced here. It's a portrait of a man and what looks like a young man or uh, perhaps a, a, an older boy. Um, but his suggestion, and I'm not going to go into uh, his entire argument because you can go and, and read it in the Burlington Magazine, uh, he thought he could identify these people in the double portrait that's in uh, Dresden. He thinks that the boy uh, uh, on the, as, you, as we face it on our, our right, uh, is actually Marietta, dressed up in her clothing as a boy. And he's also identified the man as one of the patrons of both Tintoretto and of Titian, Jacopo Strada. And so here we see Titian's portrait of Jacopo Strada and a double portrait. Uh, with a uh, person who looks like he is Jacopo Strada and uh, the person who has been tentatively identified as uh, La Tintoretta uh, Marietta. And, he, and uh, Bull believed that this painting is actually by the hand of Marietta Tintoretto Marietta Robusti.